Hey, this is Yuda Benatar, aka Sidebrain, and I want to show you how to play video clips in the session view and how to use a video drum rack. Now, for a long time now, Ableton Live can play video clips in the arrangement view, which is great for sound design and composition for motion picture, and you can treat the video clips the same as audio clips, meaning that you can even use the full functionality of the warp engine. One of the missing features of the video engine is to play video clips in the session view. Thanks to Max for Live, we can take advantage of Max video engine called Jitter. You can check out maxforlive.com for a lot of free and commercial Max video devices. One of these free devices, or more accurately, a package of devices, is called Visible or Visable, uh, developed by Robert Jarvis, aka Zill. Now, Visible gives you all the tools you need to play video clips from the session view or your webcam. You can even stream from other softwares and you can even use a custom video drum rack. This device package is modular, meaning that you can mix and match any set of inputs, outputs and effects. And you can even take advantage of live's racks and jump between different effects on different chains. Visible is now in version 2 and is offered as a free download. Check out the blog post through the video description for the download link. So let's see how to set this up. So here I have uh, an empty project, just one MIDI track and one audio track. Now, because Visible is a collection of devices, some audio and some MIDI, it will be annoying to simply place the package in my user library and then navigate to each specific device every time I want to use it. So instead, I've copied Visible to my documents folder on my computer and added it to my browser uh, for quick access. Just click the add folder and find it on my computer. Nice. Now, um, the one device you will probably have to use in any project while using Visible is the viewer. And that will allow you to actually see the video screen and output everything. So I'm gonna load it into the empty MIDI track because it's a MIDI effect. Let's uh, resize this video. Excellent. Now I'm gonna load a few video clips. And if you're looking for a great package to start with, with video clips, um, Brain Feeder is offering a great pack for free. And I'll post a link in the video post. So here I have a few uh, video clips. I'm just gonna select a bunch of them and just drag them to this audio track right here. Excellent. Now, in order to output them to the video, I need to go to input in my visible folder and load the clip player into the audio track. Now I'm gonna go back to my viewer and set the stream from the menu to get it from the clip player. Excellent, and now if I launch the clips. Excellent. And if the clips have audio inside of them, you can simply mute uh, the track and then you can play the clips. Nice. Now, Visible also come packed with a lot of video effects. You can go to the effects folder and just load whichever effect you want. Let's say Collider before the viewer. And here I'm gonna set up uh, the clip player and the viewer to auto. To automatic nice let's launch again another clip and now we can also use the effects now once you have this set up just one effect with the clip player and the viewer on auto you can place whatever effects you want in between and they're already automatically going to be mapped so you can start using them straight away excellent now there is also another type of input which is very cool it's uh, the rack player and this is just MIDI so you can place it on the same track before the viewer Let's set this to auto. Okay, now the rack player just allows you to drop video clips into one in each one of these pads, very similar to the drum rack in Ableton Live. You can change banks from here, and it's super awesome. Let me show you an example. I load a demo set. So here I have a live set with just one track and a lot of different devices on it, and we're only gonna care about right now about these two chains. One is just um, a kit, just a drum kit for my uh, Dreamcast. Uh, I have some drums and some samples here, and I have a video chain, and here we can see the rack player again, the video drum rack. I added two effects, and also the viewer right here. 
Now everything uh, doesn't need to set up because it's on the same chain, so everything is set to auto and it should work. And if we navigate here, right here it's all my uh, video clips. Excellent. Now, um, I've also mapped my joystick to a couple of effects here. And it's also controlling some audio effects as well. Okay, check it out. Nice. Now, remember that this is all just Max for Live devices, so you can map almost anything to your MIDI controller or your computer keyboard. You can even record automations or even use other Max for Live devices for crazy video modulation effects. Visible 2 is currently the most complete package for playing and affecting video in Ableton Live's session view, and I hope you enjoy it. Until next time. Peace.